Hi, this is Martin, Technical Account Manager at GitLab. Today I want to give you a quick overview of the JupyterLab GitLab extension. It's a really handy way to browse and execute Jupyter Notebook files in GitLab projects. And for that, I'm quickly going to share my screen. So JupyterLab GitLab is a free and open extension to JupyterLab, and it allows browsing GitLab repositories using JupyterLab in read-only mode. So that's your first restriction. You can make local changes to the files you're viewing in JupyterLab, but you can't push them using the extension. It is based on another extension, JupyterLab GitHub, and it provides the same functionality. So this is the second restriction. Because there are no subgroups in GitHub, this extension currently only allows viewing projects in top-level groups or private namespaces you have access to. So subgroups are not supported. But let's take a look how it works. So um, if you have it installed, you get this little icon in your menu here in the Jupyter Lab, and in there we can just enter a private access, we a private namespace we have access to, or a top level group, like so, and then we can select our project, like this little issue versus cost matrix visualization, um, and the notebook file. It will then download the master branch using the GitLab API and we can just view it and run it directly there in JupyterLab. But this is our third restriction. It only works on master. This is really handy for all kinds of dashboards and reports that are set up using Jupyter because anyone with access to the repository can view them directly in JupyterLab without a need of actually cloning the repository, checking it out, and so on. Now, what can we not do with it? We cannot make changes to the notebook file. So I can remove something in here, and I can, uh, I'll can i get an updated visualization, removing a trace. But uh, now there is no real way to push that change back to the repository. And we can also not switch the branch. That means we cannot use it by, for example, for merge request reviews, where it would really come in handy. For functionality like this, um, you have to use other extensions like JupyterLab Git that provide full Git functionality. On the other hand, then you need to have the repo cloned locally and you're losing all this nice quick browsing functionality. So the installation and configuration itself is quite straightforward. The extension has a client side um, that is really easy to install that provides basic functionality. If you want to have uh, want to have authenticated requests, so get access to private projects as well, then you need to install the server extension as well. Um, on your notebook server and enter your access token. So uh, that is another complication. So if you're not running the notebook server locally, and this is just your uh, access token, but as a shared server, you have to be aware that this token will give everyone with access to that notebook server read access to all the projects this token has access to. So uh, take care in your access in your administration of this token and access to your Jupyter notebook server. So yeah, really handy way of browsing projects using Jupyter Lab. Um, thank you very much.